Hey, it's great to see you again. Great to see you. How are you doing? That's good. Yeah, excited for this. So yeah, yeah. first day. Yeah, first everything's day. about to start. Exactly. Starting well, it off with a demo recording. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, if you don't mind uh, telling us a little bit about who you are and uh, the app that we're going to talk about. Yeah. So my name is Boris Berenberg. I'm the VP of Product for Modus Create. We make a whole range of apps, but today we're going to talk about uh, what we call the app with no name. Uh, it's an app that has gotten so many features that we literally don't have a name for it right now. So what we do is we take all forms of text input that can be rendered into something else, and we do that. So that means things like Markdown, HTML, Latex, GraphViz, uh, we'll even support rendering a uh, dry O diagram. We won't let you edit it, but we will let you view it. Um, and so uh, we, we work with all kinds of teams to support kind of whatever that information that they need to put into confluences. So it can be uh, readmes that live alongside code. It can be scientific papers that are you know in the process of being drafted. Um, it can be diagrams. It can be HTML to make you know something look more interesting, whatever. It's kind of very broad, broad purpose app. <laughs> very nice. Yeah. Um, if you don't mind, we'd love to see a demo and kind of see some more of its features. Yeah, so uh, the demo that we'll walk through today was the demo that we made for Apptoberfest. And so it's going to be a little bit beer themed. Uh, and so the here we are actually seeing already one of our own macros. Um, and so just really quickly, this is just an HTML macro uh, where we've kind of put in whatever HTML we want, and so now we get this banner that says, you know, beer, because no great story ever started with a salad. And um, what our, the way that you use our app is always through a macro, and so in this case, we have this larger landing page that shows all kinds of different beers, and each beer is associated with a different type of data source. So for example, the logger is a mermaid logger. Mermaid is, again, it's this form of input that is text that can be then rendered into something else. So in this case, we can look at the macro configuration and we see all of the um, mermaid syntax here and kind of all the styling that was done. We can also see that it was being input directly into the macro. Uh, we also support uh, confluence attachments and remote URLs. Remote URLs can be public, or it can be like GitHub, um, GitLab, or Bitbucket. Uh, so data sources, kind of all the standard data sources for this type of stuff. And then once it's rendered, in this case, you can see that we've shown kind of that when you're making a logger, you know, you would go through a process, and you can kind of have this rich diagram, which can communicate to your end users kind of whatever you need to know. But instead of dragging things around and ed editing it a, a lot, it's just text, so it's much easier to kind of update and maintain. Um, we also, if we go back, uh, whoops, let's go back to the oh, new tab. Uh, if we go to the IPA, we'll see that this one is kind of a similar narrative as the other one, but in this case, it, this is all markdown text. So we can see it here. You know, it's just standard markdown that was written. And again, same, same data sources are available. With the Stout, we are doing uh, Swagger. So Swagger is a form of API definition, uh, or it may also be called Open API. So here we made up a fake API that allows you to kind of make beer via an API. Uh, and so again, you know, just this is very kind of standard interaction methodology. But on the configuration side, like the others, um, it is just you know the standard uh, Swagger definition here. Um, Pilsner, in this case, is uh, just HTML, kind of like we showed before. So you know we can kind of have like a nicer looking uh, content here. Uh, the Hefeweizen, in this case, we're using C4 with Plant UML. So not as pretty of a diagram, but again, just another supported diagram type. And when, if you look here, this actually is not a C4 implant UML ma macro, it's a broad purpose diagram macro, because we actually support uh, a bunch of different types. So block diag, byte field, C4 implant UML, DITA, ERD, graphviz, mermaid, nom nom, 
picture, plant your mill, structurizer, SVG bomb, simulator, umlet, Vega, Vega light, and wave drum. Uh, I think maybe, yeah, and then I guess maybe we removed dry I, I forgot. Um, and so, yeah, we support all of this, and then uh, ultimately with the amber ale, we go into latex, and so latex is more of this formal typesetting uh, uh, package management and language, so you can really build complex things. So here you can see, you know, you can write complex formulas, um, and this is uh, typically more useful for people working with uh, either publishing or uh, like formal science use cases. So we see kind of a lot of use case, a, a lot of users in, in these areas. And again, here, if you look at it, right, so there is, it has this like custom latex language uh, where people can write whatever they need. And we support a large number of packages. So for example, here you can see that we're supporting kind of the different packages within Latex, and we think that this gives us um, the ability to support more use cases for different customers than a lot of the other competing uh, Latex products uh, in the uh, Confluence ecosystem. So that's a quick demo of what our app does today, and uh, hopefully, you know, that's uh, interesting to everyone. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me or my team. Uh, you know, we've been doing this for a long time. I think we're at about 10,000 installs and a uh, few million end users. And uh, I think we got pretty decent ratings in the marketplace. And uh, we'd love to work with you as well. Thanks awesome. so much. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. Have a great Good time. Bye-bye. <laughs>